if she go away. I'm a classic man. So welcome back to my channel, amazing people. It is your boy Manny and I am back with a skincare haul. I actually filmed this yesterday, but my backdrop was not giving me life. I was like, let me just fill this again with my normal background. But before I go any further, I want to say thank you for getting us to 3k and the way we got to 3k means the world to me like this. I will never forget how we got to this milestone. I tweeted that we were 30 subscribers away from 3k, 3,000 subscribers and you guys went ham. My fellow YouTubers, my supporters, you guys just went in. My like Mike started a whole hashtag, get mine to 3k. Uh, people were just sharing, speaking so many positive things about me. I'm so grateful. For some, this milestone may mean nothing, but for me, it means a lot, and that's what that matters really. And the fact that you guys know how much it means to me, and it also means something to you as well. Thank you so much. My 3k turned to 30k, 30k turned to 300k, 300k to 3 million in Jesus name. I know you came for the skincare haul so let's get started. I'm going to start with what I use for my daily routine and this is from the Garnier Skin Active range and this is the Pure Active Daily Deep Pore Wash Blemishes and Shine. So I actually got this in July. I'll show you the one that I got in July. So you can see there's nothing in it. I'm pushing it out. I got this in July when I met up with Corey and Daniela, the one and only. We went to eat and then afterwards we had a last minute shopping spree. We went to Superdrive to get a product for her sister. We came across the skincare section and we said, let's just look at it. We left there with items for days and that's one of the items that I got. I used it until it ran out and it was amazing. But I couldn't find it on the Superdrug website. So I ended up getting this as a replacement. This is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Wash. This is the worst product I've ever used in my entire life. It makes my skin feel so dull. It's heavy on the face. Uh -uh, I don't recommend that at all. I'll give you guys a swatch of both products so you can see what I mean. I definitely recommend this. I even got two more. I got two more of this. I'm gonna throw this away. I don't remember any of the prices, but I got I actually got this from Feel Unique because I couldn't find it on Superdrug. Next up from the Garnier Skin Active range is the Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. How it looks like what i want to stress to you guys is that there's over 10 versions of one product for a reason and the reason why there's so many of one product is because they know that different ingredients work for different skins differently something that can work for an oily skin person will not work for someone that's got dry skin it says that it's a super hydrating glow revealing mask it intensely hydrates the skin restores rosy glow and improves skin's appearance. I forgot to say that for this product, you rub it on a wet face, you leave it on for about five minutes so that it can go into the skin and you can wash it off when showering or bathing, whatever. I, that's what I do personally and it works well. And what I love is that it has, if it can focus, what I love is that it has a picture demo of how to use the product. If I was to compare this with what I got from Boohoo, this is more higher quality. Like the Boohoo ones, only one tissue mask in the product. It is quite pricey, but I only use this when I'm going to events. I'm going to the YouTube Black events, so I will use this tomorrow. So next up is the Garnier Skin Active Honey Mask, and I will say that the texture of this is like a runny cocoa butter cream. So that's how it is, but it is really good. It is, it's like what I do at home, so the honey, lime, and sugar mask, but it's just the honey. And it says here, to apply on a clean and dry skin, avoid eyes and lips area, leave on for 10 minutes. Then massage in the excess product until completely absorb or remove excess with a cotton pad that immediately shows that your skin looks smoother and feels nourished and then a long lasting effectiveness, skin feels more comfortable. That's that. The last few products are from the Superdrug range. And I'm gonna start with what I've actually used so far. The first product that I've got from the Superdrug range that I've actually used is the Manuka Honey Peel Off Mask. It's a mixture of Manuka Honey and, okay. This word, yeah, I was struggling to say it yesterday and I forgot to mention it. Let me go and find it on YouTube. So how do you say this word? A few moments later. Chamomile. Chamomile. Or chamomile. No, thank you. Chamomile. Okay, thank you. Or it's okay, it's okay. So, it's a mixture of manuka honey and chamomile flour. It nourishes and moisturizes the skin and it's also ideal for sensitive skin. It's what I was saying that it's very important that you look at what is suitable for. Is it good for sensitive skin, for oily skin, for dry skin? Because it will tell you and sometimes we do miss it because it's actually the smallest writing on the front. But, make sure that you do look at it. It says direction for use. Gently massage mask into a clean, dry face using your fingertips, avoiding the lips and eyes area. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes or until completely dry. Carefully peel the mask away from the skin. Never pull. Never pull, guys. Never pull. Listen, I'm telling you from experience. Never pull. Rinse off any residue with warm water and pat face dry. Use regularly. Do not apply on broken or damaged skin. Test it out first for any irritation. It is quite similar to the spare mint mask that I told you about in my first skincare video. So the next product is the sugar and spice self-heating mask. 
So it's a mixture of caramel and Mediterranean clay, uh, clay, you know, wow, clay, a whole clay, clay. <laughs> it's a mixture of caramel and Mediterranean clay. It brightens and softens the skin and it's ideal for all skin types. So it says to use it, splash your face with warm water and leave wet. Gently massage the mask into your face, avoiding the lips and the eyes area. So always avoid the lips and the eyes because if it touches there, I think it makes your lip a little bit darker and then it, if it goes in your eyes, you're finished. If it does go into your lips and your eyes, just rinse it off. Embrace the warm effect for just, ooh, embrace the warm effect for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse off with warm water and pat the face dry. Use regularly. So it says again, do not apply to broken or damaged skin and test for any irritation first. It does do what it says. So once you apply it and you start to massage it and you start to feel it like heat up your face but it's not like it's heating up i know it sounds scary but it does not hurt at all like it's just like a warm sensation like it's just massaging your skin so the last two products so the next one is the dead sea purifying clay mask it's a mixture of witch hazel and willow bark extract so it deeply cleanses and clarifies the skin and it's ideal for oily and blemish prone skin to use it you gently massage the mask into a cleansed dry face using your fingertips avoiding the lips and eyes area again i think you know where we're going with this leave on for 10 to 15 minutes rinse with warm water and pat the face dry use regularly i have not tried this yet but i will give you guys my thoughts on it when i do try it so i do have an idea in which i can use all these products and kind of do like a review for you guys but i'm not going to say what it is until it's done until it's been filmed executed ready to release and then i'll get like because there's people on this platform that like to steal people's ideas but you know what not my business so the last product <laughs> the last product is a de-stressing mud mask it's got aloe vera in it it's soothing the skin it's good for normal to combination skin to use you gently massage the mask into a cleansed dry face using your fingertips and you know where we're going with this again avoid lips and eyes leave on 10 to 15 minutes rinse with warm water on um, rinse with warm water and pat the face dry use regularly the only product i would not recommend for sensitive skin is this one i will test it out on my arm and on this side to see if i get any irritations first before i actually use it because I ain't trying to go through what I went through with the Lush product. I hope you found this haul useful. As I said, I am going to try and find a way to review these products for you guys on my channel. I do have an idea, but I'm just thinking about how it's going to work in terms of like filming setup and everything. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to always do you and be unapologetic.